greetings all. Um, hello, RWG Research, Open Source, source Energy. Um, I want to show you what I got going on here. I, I posted a couple of my experiments um, with the negative ion generator. Um, this is the negative ion generator here. It's uh, CY is 120 volts, 7.5 kilovolts at 60 hertz. Um, basically what happens is you plug it in and these little needles, these sharp little needles at the end here produce negative electrons in an ion wind. Um, the ion wind isn't really that strong. And there's an ion wind here too. So they're basically like negative negative electrons. Um, so what I did was I just modified it and I just I have this thinned ceramic element that I got out of a heater and then I, uh, I just I had three wires on it so I took two of the wires and attached it to the output and so now I wanted to create a greater surface area hopefully getting more um, negative electrons um, on my conductor. So I did the experiments and so everything is charged. I can draw a spark from any of these conductors I place near uh, the negative electrons. I could also create a gap between one conductor and a second conductor and draw a spark. Um, here I just have a brass rod to show you that I can draw a spark. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Um, basically, every conductor becomes electrified. Um, at any point on any conductor, there's a charge. So, uh, I was doing some experiments, and, uh, I'm trying to get more energy out. You know what I mean? Um, try to amplify whatever's going on here. Trying to get the negative ele electrons or the negative ions to be more compact. And then um, draw a spark that I can charge a capacitor or laden jar. Um, this is a I got a ceramic capacitor and so what I can do is I can touch between any gap any gap that I make where there's a spark jumping I can basically short out this capacitor and then get a spark uh, charging charging times are only like two to five seconds and I can get a spark um, it doesn't matter where I charge it. Um, I was even able to charge it on a single um, conductor in the past. Um, I guess it takes some time to get the uh, to get the energy higher. So if I show you again, you take this, short it out, boom, get a spark. Um, so here I have a glass jar with the uh, 
negative ions coming off of this wire from from here, from here, from here. Uh, the, there's negative ions or electrons everywhere. There's no tin foil on the inside of the glass. Right now, I only have salt water inside the glass. So the outside becomes electrified. Um, I have it on a conducting body, actually. Um, it's like an insulator because it has poly polyfilm on one side, but on the other side, there's felt. And uh, in between, there's like a, a solution and um, it's conducting. So from from there, I, uh, I got a pretty bad spark or a good shock when I touched this and this. Uh, I was also able to touch this and anything and another another conductor that I had, I just say this is a piece of copper or something, and I put it near here, and then I touch this and that, and I get a shock. If I touch here and here, I get a shock. If I touch just here, I get a shock. If I put the spark gap close enough where the spark is jumping, I could touch here and get a shock. I could touch here and here and get a shock. And I can charge a capacitor at any break in a conductor. So what am I trying to do? Well, I didn't know what I was trying to do. I was basically trying to get more energy um, out than I put in, or, or at least amplify the conditions. And here I have just this metal tube. What, I don't know. It came out with a light bulb. I don't know if it's all brass, but it's got a brass coating. And so I'm drawing this. I could draw a spark off of this tin foil. It's not that bad. And I could put this close. And if it's too close, it'll spark. So if I touch this, no, no big deal. Um, but I think what I discovered was it was the insulator, that conducting film on the bottom that's actually amplifying the energy. And so if I touch now this, ow, it does charge up. So if I touch this and a metal conductor, let's see what happens. Ha, not much of a spark. Okay, I didn't get shocked like I did the other day. But now, <laughs> I've just put this close by here. And I could draw a spark. So I put it far enough away so there's no spark. Okay, no spark. I touch this. It's not very electrified compared to this or this or even this. And I got a spark. But what will happen if I touch this and this at the same time? Nothing. But what if I touch this and this? Son of a bee. <laughs> Success. The energy there's energy between the two. If I touch one, I'm fine. If I touch one, I'm fine. If I touch two, I'm fine. If I touch two, I'm fine. But because I think maybe it has to do with this. Ow. I think it has to do with this. Felt on one side. 
it's got this polyfilm on the other side and then inside it's sticky and um, you put it on your back to relieve pain um, it's conductive I can draw a spark from the edge here so let me put this back put that back like that Yeah, negative electrons charging this. This is charged. And I'll take this and put it here. I could draw a spark. Touch the two, no big deal. Put it here. I could draw a spark. It becomes slightly electrified. Not a big deal. But if I move it here, and now there's a gap, it, there must be a small electrification on this, but it's not much at all compared to this. There's a little bit more. I mean, it, it, it tickles. Now, if I touch this and this this time, what's going to happen? Nothing should happen. It, everything should be the same as it was before. But watch what happens. I'm going to touch it. <laughs> oh, man. I love shocking myself. Ow. All right, so I touch it. And now ready? Oh, nothing. i got to put a little bit closer. Okay. Now I'm a little bit closer. Very slight charge. Very slight charge on that. I mean, I have to bring it. Ow. <laughs> now I got a shock. Now let me just touch this film. <laughs> All right, we're close. Uh, the gap is close. Now let me try. Oh, shit. Okay. Not too bad. Um, yeah, this is the, this is definitely the condition. Uh, for a spark, for a much greater spark. Um, let me try it. Let me give it a little bit of time to charge. Uh, touch this core here. Touch this core here. Ow! <laughs> so I get a bigger shock. Um... Yeah, it's much more powerful than the 10 to 15 kilovolts that you get when you draw a spark from here to there. Here's, I got a, like a little metal nut. Let me put this nut over here. I could draw a nice little spark. Now I'm gonna touch the nut in this. Ow! Son of a B! That hurt. <laughs> so I managed. I managed to amplify this condition. Ow! <laughs> Son of a B! <laughs> um, so hey, check it out.